we will uh, welcome you back uh, so myself vasan kumar i'm here with my team so we are working with ats so as you know uh, we are the official partner of a uh, partner of ipg automotive in india so here uh, we are providing the sales and service support in india so uh, so so far we have covered up uh, the introduction to the car maker and we have seen yesterday how to create a test run and what are the required components for creating a simple test run so yesterday myself and kartikeyan has uh, shown you some a demo on creating a test run today agenda is uh, yeah you can see the agenda of today so here yeah, we are going to see about the uh, road modeling in car maker so uh, by having the tool uh, which is scenario editor is available with our gui you can uh, have the option under the parameter by having this tool we can create our tracks from the scratch so uh, i'll just tell uh, the general things about this tool and um, what are the possibilities over there so uh, by having this tool we can create the routes manually and even we could import the data we have recorded by having the gps coordinate and and then okay um so uh yeah apart from this we can have the option for some of the code uh co working kind of things like um uh, we can we can integrate with other tools like here hp maps um uh, yes uh, i'll just tell tell you for um for giving you some brief knowledge about the software but it doesn't help uh, with this event so um it might be helpful if you are developing any autonomous driving cars in autonomous cars at the moment you need to uh, integrate with any maps which capture the data from the real world which means the live maps so it will also give you some information about the traffic signs and barrier and all and uh, yeah so and uh, it will uh, give you some elevation profile information as well and then we can put our vehicle on the track and we could uh, do the simulation for making it as more realistic we need to add some more environments like in some surroundings it should have uh, some vegetations like trees and all we could add those things and we could add is okay is my voice audible uh, is it clear yes it is clear okay so uh, by having the options uh, available in the tool we could add some geometric files like uh, we could add uh, buildings and we have a separate window for traffic additions so those are the additional road users in in our virtual environment so uh, and then we could create lot of algorithms uh, so the ego vehicle doesn't know what would uh, happen and what are the obstacles it is going to happen so that can be simulated and we could check our algorithms for autonomous driving and all so uh, apart from this when it comes to the vehicle dynamics testing we could add lot of barriers or lot of uh, hindrances 
using uh, the toolboxes available in the tool. Here we could add bumps, even some kind of meshes. We could add um, we could add speed breakers, and we could give uh, some slip. We could uh, give some different mews, uh, mew patches for making it as a slippery road, and we can do uh, whatever we we can see in the real real world. So uh, today's session will cover uh, these things, whatever required for our Baha event. So um, today we will go. Uh, we are going to see about uh, the toolboxes available for road creation and the hurdles addition and different road types and how to add the mu and how to create the route. So the route. Addition, route creation is the most important one here. Unless you are creating the route, we couldn't start the simulation. So there are uh, different approaches for creating the routes. We will see it later in this session. And we could add the terrain as well. And uh, we can, we will see about other importing options. Importing options. We will show you some demo on how to uh, how to download the maps uh, from 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 uh, Google Maps, and we uh, we can uh, download it as a KML extension, and then we will add it uh, add it uh, into our tool, and we will show you how it looks like. And then, uh, yeah. So after the training, okay. So uh, you just uh, listen uh, what what we're, uh, we are trying to convey today, and note down your questions. Uh, we will discuss where, whenever it's possible. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, over to you, Ravindra. Okay, uh, sorry to interrupt. Before Ravinder, you start, yeah. uh, I would just like to clear to all the uh, participants of this webinar that we won't be taking any uh, Q&A session here. Uh, you won't be able to post any of your question or answers. Just go uh, listen the webinar thoroughly and note down any of, your, any of the questions that you might have. And you can post it on the forum. We have created different boards on the forum to post IPG car maker uh, questions. So you can post your queries there. Okay, thank you. Uh, over to you, Ravinder. Thank you, Vasan. Thank you, sir. Good evening to all. Uh, myself, uh, Ravinder, Senior Service and Application Engineer in a part of IPG team from Automotive Test System. Okay. Today, we are discussing about uh, the road modeling uh, scenario editor. So, in this session, we are discussing about for a, how to create the road and how to create the track and uh, how to what are the tools are used in this to create the road and uh, route and uh, different elevations and uh, different uh, futures and uh, basic futures. So these are this content inside the second section. Okay, um, definitely uh, you can get the clear idea after the end of the session. Uh, how to create the track for the Baja track. Okay. Okay. Uh, in general things, uh, in a car maker, in our editor, uh, the basic, uh, I'm telling about this basic introduction about for this uh, in editor. So uh, the Scenario editor is nothing but uh, uh, building a road network and uh, modifying a, a road surface by adding a different kind of uh, uh, different uh, is a different kind is bump and elevations you can add it for this uh, in the road surface and also in scenario editor so adding a uh, traffic sign and a traffic light that is also possible in the road network surface. And, uh, and another one is uh, to create for this different route 
for this fruit for this uh, each as the road surface and also it's possible okay and also it's possible to or uh, miscellaneous for this object uh, to beautifying your uh, surrounding of this vehicle as well as of this uh, terrain to generate of this uh, terrain okay okay so generally the road consider have a lateral and longitudinal elevations and uh, height of the elevation of this profile and a uh, traffic light and a uh, traffic signs and a uh, bump uh and other possibility of this component is available so in this car maker gui is uh, adapted for this you can get the create the in car maker road scenario editor tool okay and uh, next one so method of road generation so the method of road generation there are three different method to create of this road the first one is a manual method Uh, another one is a map method and the third one is a measurement of this method so manual method uh, you can use in scenario editor of this tool and uh, different tools you can create the straight road or a turning road uh, and we can create for this uh, different elevations and uh, different bumps for in say the scenario of this editor and uh, map based so you can create this map based and create for this uh, uh, map from the google internet is adapted inside the uh, scenario of this editor that is a map based and another one is a measurement of this method uh, it's a purely is a measurement of this road surface of this method it's also possible to be inside of this scenario of this editor okay so carry of the cycle of road so we are discussing now a general feature and a general basic uh, definition about for this uh, uh, road conditions and road theory so first we discuss a junction so junction is nothing but a road element is to do join the different uh, links okay so and uh, another one is a link so link is nothing but is a section of this road network uh, usually uh, is a one road that is for this link and uh, reference line is nothing but is a curvature of this road is a defined global network x y z axis so actually the reference line is nothing but is a curvature of this road is a from this starting node to end node so here uh the entire simulation the following for this only two axis one is a x axis and another one is a, a t axis so x axis is nothing but is a following along the reference of this line that is for x axis and uh, t axis is nothing but the x axis of this left of the right angle okay so i am telling about for uh, is a x axis is starting reference of this line from starting node to end node it's having for a, a different segment for this inside of the link and uh, t axis i'm telling about for this uh, uh, is uh, for example if you take for this this one is x axis and uh, along the right angle of the left right angle of this is a t axis okay and uh, next one lane so lane is nothing but is a uh, a lateral extension of this link is nothing but a lane and the lane section is nothing but a, a section of link with the constant number of this lane okay and the next one is a path uh, is path is nothing but the vehicle can be drive on the uh, road is path is also the path is classified as uh, there are a lane path and a connector path and a user path so and the next one is a uh, route uh, this are this route uh, two route is available is nothing but the vehicle travels on the road is consist of this uh, a number of uh, one or more path for this inside the uh, route so these are just basic uh, terms and definition for uh, before starting the uh, session 2 uh, in scenario this editor 
uh, so this basic future and the basic definitions, junctions, link, and uh, reference line, and uh, lane sections, and the path, and etc. So we are discussing about how to use the uh, tool with the reference of these junctions and the line and the reference of this line, etc. Okay. Uh, now I open to this car maker inner editor. Okay, so this uh, car maker GUI that is a graphical user interface uh, in the scenario editor tool is available in this parameter and uh, scenario rule is a short form to go to for a, a press control right here or you can go to for the scenario editor. Can you use this thing for the scenario editor tool? Yes. Okay. So it's a scenario editor, this car maker GUI. So it's a main place for this. The first top view is a menu tab. Uh, it's nothing but it's a open and a save, save a test run and a Save us road file and undo option, redo options, and uh, view options. So everything will be here at the uh, top of the space in this scenario editor of this tool. And I come to the left side. So in the left side, the tools and the road accessories and the scenario and the traffic of these tools will be available. So uh, this road, uh, the road tools we. Inside of this road, the straight road and the turning of this road, the, some of the basic of these tools are available in this inside of this road tools and the accessories. Uh, here is a traffic object and a traffic signs and a traffic light and a other road paintings. So these are these tools are available inside the accessory. And the scenario is nothing but it's a, your a beautiful you are surrounding your vehicle. So there's such as features available for this uh, scenario of these tools. And the uh, next one is uh, traffic. So here the option is available for a route and uh, you can add for a, a different uh, driving maneuvers and uh, other options, uh, trigger option pin tools. So these are the features available instead of this traffic. And uh, you come to the right side. So here the parameter and the object of these tools are available. So here, the parameter is nothing but uh, you can use through configuration of detail of this section of this road surface. If you select the road element, so this, this road element is available inside of this parameter. And uh, next one for this object list. So object list you can uh, create for this uh, different uh, road network. So you can use for this a number of tools inside the uh, road network. So you can easily find out for this object ID. Okay, if you enter for this object ID number, you can get the directly go to the for a that's a object of this tool. You can modification for a, you can modifications or a, updating your a parameter of this value instead of this road surface. And uh, next one. Uh, it's a main place for this uh, top view of this 2D surface and moving this cursor for this inside. Uh, it's a, if you create for this road network, and uh, the top view for this 2D view, you can view the 2D view of this object. And the next one uh, is a bottom place. It's nothing but it's a side view of this your, uh, road network, especially this space is useful to uh, you can create for this any elevations. You can view at the height of this profile. Okay. So let's discuss one by one. Okay. Uh, here. I selected for setting tools, 
and uh, view setting tools and uh, 3D view option tools and uh, road information and uh, lane configurations and undo options. Everything is available here. So you can open the file, new file here. The save us your test run file. This button is useful for you save us your old test run of this bike. And uh, next one is nothing but you save us your uh, road file. So if you save your, your road file, so it will be directly saved at the RD5, RD5 file format in these available in the uh, CM project and uh, can I, uh, I show that? Okay, so whatever you uh, saving this file in a uh, scenario of this editor, so this in RD5 file format is the file will be available in the uh, CM project, the folder at C and uh, this is my folder and power training and uh, data and uh, road okay so you say for this road file format the file will be saved as the instead of this bagger training i mean uh, it's my folder name and uh, instead of this uh, road okay and next one, uh, I saw this undo and the redo options you get for this uh, tatty undo option is available if you do that the operation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this one is a general information, a road information about for a detailed uh, discuss whatever you can create for this road and uh, junction whatever you can create for this any junctions or uh, elevations or any other link so everything will be detailed will be information available inside the uh, general information of this tool and next one a configuration of this lane configuration okay uh, this one is very important a lane configuration so the lane configurations, uh, before starting your uh, uh, road networks, before starting your uh, building of this road, uh, the lane configurations is useful for you uh, to create for this uh, lane. So here, the lane configurations, uh, it's nothing but it's a different lane configurations can be created and uh, save the options is available for this year and also, the first stage will be a, a type of lane can be shown at this here. Okay, you can add or a deleted or move left or a move right. It's also option is available in the D and this space. Okay, uh, it's my now I created for this default of this road. If I want to uh, create for this another type of this lane, also it's possible to be done on this here. And uh, second one. Uh, it's nothing but the list out the all the defined uh, uh, lanes uh, you can configure it at this here, okay. And uh, also it's possible to add and uh, deleting to so removing the lane uh, with respect to the uh, driving lane and uh, road border and uh, road sides. So everything is possible for this instead of the places. And uh, the next one, the space is provided for you can enter the. Uh, or uh, modifying or updating your uh, width of this road. And also, if you want to change this uh, road marking of this line, uh, that means uh, if you want to center line is a straight line or a broken line, so everything will be possible of this here for a uh, road marking of this line. And uh, it places a traffic barrier and a gatepost. If you want to additionally uh, to adding for this traffic barrier for instead of this your uh, road link, it is also be possible we create for this uh, traffic area. And this option is for uh, preview object. Whatever you can create for this uh, lane, you can view that the option. Okay. I hope you understand well. And uh, next I'm going to setting option. 
Uh, again, I come to this uh, lane configuration. First, I completed for this uh, top menu of this button. Uh, uh, just I'm discussing about for this uh, open the uh, new uh, open uh, thinner editor and how to save the uh, file for RD5 file, RD5 file format. So this is a file will be saved at the, already I told you, and CM project and your project name and the data and the role. So your file will be saved at the data road file format. And this option is available, the save us your old test run or save us your test file only. Okay. And another one is IPG preview of this movie. Uh, whatever you can create for this road network and uh, entire road building, you can view the uh, 3D preview in IPG movie. If you long pressing this IPG movie, so there are options available 3D preview and a 3D preview with the traffic is nothing but uh, it's adding a traffic uh, part that it will be a separate uh, simulation environmental traffic object. So that is also possible you can view the 3D view of this object in IPG movie. And the next one is a visualization parameter. You can parameter visualization of the tool. Okay, so these are the discuss of this now. Uh, now I come to the setting. So before starting, you can create the new road or a new LAN and a road network of the surface. Uh, the setting options useful for you. Uh, it's a uh, before st starting a setting, uh, you can define for this cycle positions, and also you can define for uh, your IPG vehicle speed. So, and uh, you can define for this your uh, country of this road. So, everything will be done at the here the setting option option before you can start your work or uh, before starting your uh, create of this road network. You can define for this, everything will be here. So I can explain one by one with the example. So now I'm telling about for a, a general future about for this uh, uh, setting of these tools. Okay. Now I come to this uh, lane configuration. Already told this one is uh, very important. Uh, if you start. Uh, as a lane configuration is nothing but you can create or save for this before starting your uh, uh, starting a road network and uh, creating for this uh, lane. Okay. In case uh, if you not selected for this uh, default of the uh, row, the IPG Carmichael scenario this editor uh, take for this uh, top. I mean, a uh, uh, top default will be lane will be selected for this automatically. You can create for this number of lane for this year. Uh, if you want to specify of this lane, you can add and option add and the remove option will be here. Uh, if you not selected for this any type of this lane, the scenario editor is checked that uh, uh, automatically for a, a default of this lane that is a top view of this lane. So this uh, road preview for this, uh, you can see that uh, row, uh, preview. Uh, this is the lane surface. Now I create for this one lane. I go to the option uh, road tools and uh, straight road. I draw this one straight road here. Just I'm going to and uh, just hold your button for instead of this here and long press your mouse button. The option is available a junction ramp and the straight and turn. So this are this discussed will later. Now I draw the one straight row. Okay, uh, I enter this road length and uh, I enter for this horizontal axis. Okay, here. I come to the lane configuration. Okay. Here, for a left side, a road side, and uh, this one is a driving lane. 
as a zero left is nothing but is a driving lane as a width of this driving lane is a 3.5 meter so that means so 3.5 meter is nothing but the center reference of this line to this this one this one will be nothing but a driving lane as a 3.5 meter and the road border uh, this one is a road border uh, it's a road border with is 1 meter it's a left side i'm telling about and uh, next one is a road side you cannot do that it's a road side is a 2.5 meter in case uh, if you see that for a ipg preview movie you can get the clear view i open the ipg preview okay yes uh, i created one straight road now you can see that in ipg movie as a center is a reference of this line and this one is a driving lane uh, next one is a roadside and uh, the driving lane is a 3.5 meter yes as a driving lane is a 3.5 meter and the next one is a is a road border is a 1 meter length the so 1 meter speed and the next one is a left side for this road side is a 2.5 meter this one is a 2.5 meter okay so the uh, same that for uh, right hand side uh, driving lane uh, road border and uh, road side so total width of this road is uh, i mean uh, total width of driving lane road is uh, 7 uh, 3.5 for a uh, left side and uh, 3.5 meter for this uh, right side is also you can if you want to uh, changes for this width of this road is option is available you can change the lane width of this road okay so lane if you come to the tab window side there's nothing but the space is provided for you can modify your uh, width of this road and also you can add your uh, uh, any road marking of this line uh, also is possible to be done for this year for this road marking and uh, also is possible to done the uh, traffic barrier will be added for this uh, lane surface okay uh, it's a preview of this road and now i selected for driving lane for this left side if i need for a bicycle lane uh, it's a bicycle lane for this road surface i mean and if i uh, pedestrian path this also will be done for this year for this pedestrian of this path and a uh, traffic island so everything will be possible will be created for this uh, uh, different of features okay now um, if i need for this uh, single lane uh, for only one driving lane uh, i can delete it for this uh, left hand driving lane okay uh, now i deleted the uh, if first i selected and remove for this left driving lane okay so it's a preview of this road if i create it for the straight road the road will becomes like that a single driving lane uh, but I, here uh, i can change for this uh, a straight single line for this up here so now i do that and uh, road marking and single line okay uh, this are these features these are the setting here for this uh, lane configuration before starting you are uh, uh, create for this road and a uh, route is very useful for you for creating for a single driving lane or a double driving lane whatever uh, based on your uh, requirement okay now i create for this one road okay so you can see that the difference uh, first this one is a left driving line and the right side of this driving line will be here for the default of this road and uh, after that i will do that for i remove the left side of the driving lane okay so you can see that for lane configuration 
Yes, sir. Preview. Uh, it's nothing but I create for this one straight driving of line plane, and with reference of this single line for this uh, the road border, uh, left side and also the uh, right side. Okay. So it's a uh, tool for this. It's tool to you. Uh, you create for this any power track of this road for the single driving lane. So additionally, if you want to, uh, okay, uh, I'm discussing about for this single line, and if you want to uh, create for this broken of this line for this here, as option as available, uh, it's nothing but it's a parameterization of this your uh, uh, drive broken of this line, dash space and a lane width. So everything will be done at the here. And also, if you want to change the color, it is also is possible. Uh, select a color and just apply. It's also everything will be possible. And uh, traffic varies already. I told that uh, it's nothing but if you want to add the traffic uh, barrier for this uh, in the lane, if you want, means you can add this one traffic barrier. Uh, it's uh, option is available, and a number of options is available in the inside of this traffic of this barrier. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you want to another type of this plane, you can uh, add this one. You can uh, after that. Uh, that is a default one is a top most top one. And a default zero one is nothing but you can create for this uh, next uh, type of this plane, and also uh, you can define for this uh, any road painting or a road marking or a, a single driving lane. Uh, everything will be done at the here. Okay, so these are this option is available in the lane configurations. Uh, okay, if you, in case. You can directly open to the scenario editor and go to the for directly create for the state of this row. Uh, the lane, the IPG car maker, uh, select for this topmost uh, default of this road will be auto set for this automatically. If you whatever you can add the different uh, lane, uh, the IPG car maker will be select for this uh, uh, top lane will be selected for this automatically. And uh, next one, and setting. Okay. So the setting option is useful for uh, creating for this uh, any road and the lane. You can define you can define for this uh, a country a type of country. So it's also available, and also you can set the uh, vehicle speed. In the uh, IPG road, in this country of this road. So it's also a bit different for this year, country of this road. Now I create for one straight road. I'll explain one by one uh, what is that longitudinal offset and the lateral offset and the orientation and the route, everything, etc. Okay, now I create for one straight road. Now I come to the setting option. So longitudinal offset is nothing but uh, if your vehicle starts the initial now the zero meter is nothing but the vehicle started the initial position at the zero meter. Uh, if you want to enter the five meter or a ten meter, the vehicle will be the initial from to ten meter apart from the uh, longitudinal distance. So that is useful. That is used for this uh, longitudinal offset and a lateral offset. Lateral direction. The vehicle started the initial position at the zero meter. If you enter the uh, one meter or two meter, uh, please note down uh, the width of this road is a uh, 3.5 is right side, and another one is a uh, 3.5 meter for this left side. Okay. Uh, the lateral offset. The it's nothing but if you enter for one or two meter, the lateral offset. The vehicle will be started the initial at a uh, two meter from the initial position. 
and uh, it's nothing but angle orientation of this angle uh, if you vehicle will be start for any tilt positions you can enter of this uh, orientation of this angle equal to the angle now i'm showing one vehicle in uh, straight hold condition i open the car make a gui now i selected for a uh, demo car i go to for product example and example now i select as uh, a demo car so the different kind of this car is available for with the different uh, specification and especially i select for one demo car Uh, I just done the uh, basic uh, parameter uh, instead of maneuver. So now I enter for longitudinal of the distance uh, three meter. So now we see that for uh, in IPG movie preview. Uh, just open the uh, other one product example. Okay. Uh, now I created for uh, directly. I'm going to for this uh, product example. Uh, you can get the clear idea about this. Okay. Now the setting options. Now I enter for this uh, a longitudinal offset distance uh, 10 meter. So the vehicle will be uh, start at 0 to uh, 10 meter. It's the initial position. The vehicle will be ready to start the simulations. A 10 meter apart from the initial position. Okay, if I enter for the zero meter, it's come less like that. The vehicle will be started the initial position at the axis. So lateral offset is nothing but uh, if you enter the one or two meter, the vehicle will be a lateral offset of here. We'll go to for a, a nest of display, and uh, generally we enter for this. Zero meter and orientation is nothing but it's a vehicle a tilt of this angle. If you want to tilt your vehicle, so this option is useful to the orientation of this angle. Okay, and next one is a localized setting. Okay, uh, I hope you understand for this vehicle start position for a longitudinal offset and a lateral offset and the Orientation active route is nothing but I'm selected for this current activation of the route. Uh, next one I'm going to for a, a localized settings. So in IPG vehicle, uh, a different kind of uh, countries is available. Uh, generally, defaultly, I selected for a, a Germany. Uh, if I select for this Germany country, uh, a traffic sign and a traffic light for this comes to this. Uh, uh, German uh, as per the uh, rules of this German country. And uh, next one. Okay, uh, this nothing but uh, a driving side. Uh, if you want to right hand traffic or left hand traffic, you can depend for this here for the setting of this option. Uh, 
and a speed limit, uh, the country road, uh, the IPG, if you enter for this, if you enter for this uh, speed in IPG of this road, you can enter for this year, 100 km per hour or 50 km per hour. So it's nothing but it's IPG driver uh, take uh, responsible for this uh, 50 km per hour uh, for your uh, space on your, for your road. Okay. So the IPG driver only for allow for this only 50 km per hour only for driving your ego or bike. If you enter for a 60 or a 45 km, that is a maximum possible to drive the bike on this road. Uh, next one is a, a global coordinate system. So, so you call define for this year a land latitude and longitudinal and the height and the projection of this mode of this year. So, I saw this setting option. Uh, you can create for this uh, road or a lane uh, before you come to this setting option. You can may be useful to you. Uh, again, I start on scenario editor, a new scenario editor. Okay. Now we're discussing about for a, a tools and a road, and if you have time, we'll do support for accessories and a scenario. Okay. So I come to the later for a tools of this options. Uh, first, I can create for this a, a tools of this option. If you press long for this, hold your mouse button. The option is available a junction, a ramp, and a straight road, and a turn, and rotate, and point list, and connect, and a file. So these are these options available in the road. Okay. Uh, we discuss one by one. So ramp and the junction, we can discuss the latter. Now I create one straight road. So select the road and just touch the uh, to review of the space and move your mouse. The straight road will become. So otherwise, press the control button. The straight road will be the straight lane will become. Okay. Now you can define of this here length of this road. Now I enter the length of this road. 500 meter. Now you are using this mouse options. Using this scroll, your center wheel of this mouse button. You zoom in, and the zoom out option is available. And just enter. And now as a define a, a zero degree of this angle. That means a horizontal straight road. Here, just enter. Okay. Now I create for one straight road. So now I do that for uh, how to zoom in, zoom out. Just scroll your mouse button uh, forward and reverse. The option is available. A straight through. Okay, already you know that uh, the center is a reference line and uh, left uh, driving lane and uh, right side driving lane and a uh, road border and a uh, roadside. I think. That, so here, the width of this driving lane is a 3.5 meter. So already, I defined up this here in a lane configuration. Okay. Now I use for a, a turning. So if you want to left turn and a right turn, you can define up this here. Just click the center of the reference of this line. Uh, turning okay now I enter the uh, turning radius and the turning angle I enter the turning radius uh, 90 meter 
and angle 45 degrees. Now I completed for this uh, two segment. First one is a uh, uh, straight route. And uh, second segment is a uh, turning. Uh, again, I do that for uh, right turning. Okay. Uh, enter the same defined uh, radius uh, 90 meter and uh, angle at 45 degree. For this right turn. So next time, go to for a, a quoted option. So if you quote is this quoted option, you can define you select the center of this reference of this line. So you can parameter for a different for start radius and in radius and angle. So just I click the 2D view of this page. After that, I can modification of this start radius and in radius. So now I enter the start radius. One fifty and uh, end radius hundred and uh, angle at forty five degrees. Okay. Next, <coughs> I using this point list. Uh, I complete for the three segment straight and a turn and both it and next one is point list. So point list nothing but uh, you can create for this uh, uh, different uh, segment, whatever you can select the point, uh, you can create for this different lane. That's started the uh, center of this reference of line and uh, one click and this one point, uh, another one point and another one point. And if you want to complete the point list action, yes, Double click and the arrow mark is like that. Okay, if you complete this one, this point will be point list will be road mark will be complete for this, this direction. If you want to complete the uh, straight right direction at a right angle, the point list will be completed at the this way of this direction. Okay. Now uh, use for this uh, connecting tools. So the connecting tools is to connect the road. Uh, just I select for center of plane, first one and second one. Okay. So I created for one layer. Uh, we can view the IPG preview of this movie. So in IPG of this preview of this movie, you can option for go to camera and bad options. Uh, you can see that here. Okay. So this is done for this uh, in scenario editor. So there are five segments of this here. Uh, the last option is uh, connecting a road surface. Okay. I hope you understand uh, well. Uh, okay. So next one, I create the uh, junction. So before junction, I already know that uh, it's nothing but uh, uh, it's a junction arm. So generally for junction of this arm, you need for a minimum two junction arm is required for to create the junction arm. In IPG scenario editor is provided for maximum eight junction arm. Okay. So before starting the junction arm, I create one straight road. And enter the uh, 50 meter of this plane. Uh, I need under the drop screen. Okay. 
now i do that the junction if you start the junction uh, you can start at the initial position at the center of the reference of the line okay now i create a for four amp junction so first i create it after that if i need for any modification into the parameter after that i can edit it now i do that for a, a create for four amp junction So after that, if I need for any changes for a uh, uh, junction parameter, uh, we can do that here. Uh, further, if you want to uh, edit your uh, junction amp, just uh, left side of click on your mouse button, and there will be junction amp will be edited. So you can define for this year uh, distance and the directions you can edit for this year. Okay, so the 16 and the 268 is nothing but it's a default value will become my, I'm doing that for a, a junction of this amp. Okay. Now I create an underground straight line. Again, it will be a same process. And straight road. And if I need for any turning of this angle, I do that here. Again, I need for any for this here. For a downside of junction arm, there is a fourth year of junction of this Okay. So it's a procedure to be created for this uh, junction. So after that, if you uh, create for this root section, uh, just selecting a root option. So this uh, root option is available. Uh, so later on, we discuss for uh, how to create the uh, root. Uh, and uh, just clicking a direction, a start new root, and root. And again, can continuously, whatever you, if you want the root section, you can create up this here. So now your vehicle will be traveled on this, this route here. Okay. okay. Next I create for this uh, ramp. Okay. So the ramp is nothing but it's, a, uh, it's another type of this junction. So gen generally the junction type is normal junction. Uh, another one is a ramp junction. So normal junctions uh, is done before. Uh, is four way junctions or eight amp junctions. And next one is a ramp, its purpose to motor entrance or exit of this state. Okay. Uh, if it is possible to show that here on example, I create one straight road. And uh, I select here RAM. Okay. Here I select for a two way RAM. As a RAM is purpose, uh, it's a motorway entrance and a seat of option. I done a two way RAM. Just double click, the RAM option is over. Next, I create one straight road. Uh, again, I continue the first segment from the starting from the first segment. Okay. Now I go into the uh, turning option tool. Uh, using this mouse scrolling button, mouse scrolling button, you can zoom in option is available.
and increase the radius. Now, uh, this option is nothing but a lateral offset of this tool. You can offset your uh, uh, lane uh, at the lateral direction. I select this option. I select the lateral offset tool. Just click. And move to the sphere. Now, uh, just I done that uh, using this lateral offset of this two and the lateral offset at 3.5 meter of the zero. This is a, this is only I done that. Now I use the clean section tools. It's nothing but you section if you. Uh, okay, for the state road uh, section, the different lane section of here. If you use this tool, if you want to addition, if you want to edit or modification for particular of this lane, this tool will be useful for you. Now I need to increase the width of this road. Now I do that. Yes, lane section will be here. I cut the one section in the first segment and second segment. Okay, uh, I enough for this first segment. Here, this tool is useful for uh, to increase the or uh, any modification for width of this road. This option is useful to you. Uh, width of this road, uh, just selecting the width of this road tool and click. And it's a orange color will be button. It will be show that here. So generally, the width of this road is uh, it start is 3.5 meter and the width end is 3.5 meter. That is nothing but uh, it's with 3.5 meter starting and end is 3.5 meter. Now I increase the width of this road. Just double click on this here. Okay. Now the width start is zero meter and the width end is 3.5 meter. Uh, if I enter for 3.5 meter. Yes, sir. the width of the road will be increased. Okay, so for general purpose for this uh, ramp, I for this this one is a motor entrance. So I enter for this zero meter. This row. Okay. Uh, is the purpose of this ramp? Tool, if a motor uh, base entrance uh, or end exit or enter to be a straight segment of the plan. So again, I'll start for straight uh, new route. Just click for this uh, right hand click or mouse button and start new route and select continue for a route. Uh, will be shown that in IPG movie. So if you view the clear uh, default view in IPG movie, just right click and a camera and a default. <laughs> okay. Uh, further, I need for a focus to the any particular of this point and just move your mouse button. So this is why I done that uh, ramp option of this tool. The purpose of this ramp tool is nothing but a motor highway entrance or a switch. Okay, I hope you all understand how to use the uh, straight road and a turning and a ramp and a junctions. And this one is a lane section. 
and this one is a width of this tool and a lateral extension of this tools. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about for this elevations. I create one straight road. At the length of uh, 300 meter, uh, at the uh, Alexander angle, okay. Now, the first tool is the uh, elevation of this profile. I select this elevation tool. Now. I create one straight road for a 300 meter length. Uh, now I do that for a elevation of stools. I select up this here. Whatever I need for a elevation will be started. You can define up this here. Uh, I create for a three elevations. Okay, here they mentioned that the longitudinal offset, the first elevation is start from uh, 0 meter to 43.1, and the second elevation is start from 0 meter to 69, and the third elevation will start from uh, 107. Uh, now I change the uh, offset direction, longitudinal offset uh, meter. I enter the uh, uh, general uh, data. Now uh, the elevation. Height, I will do that. Uh, I do that for a, a second elevation height, three meter. Okay. Now uh, you can see that a side view of this space option. Uh, this space is provided for you can view the side view of this height profile. Especially you can use the elevation tool. Uh, you can see that directly. Uh, after that, you can go to for an IPG 3D movie of this view. So here. Uh, first elevation is start from the zero, uh, 0 to 50 meter is uh, it is elevation first elevation is 0 meter and the second elevation is start from the 0 meter to 100 millimeter that is uh, 100 meter second elevation will be here the height of this elevation is 3 meter and uh, third elevation is uh, start from 0 meter to 150 meter the height of this elevation is uh, 0 So further, if you want to uh, any modifications or any your uh, uh, elevation of two, just move and right click your uh, mouse button. The elevation profile will become okay. Uh, after that, if you have any error or any, if you want to further add, uh, adding elevation or uh, modification for this data, you can done that. Uh, this color okay. Now uh, we can see that in IPG preview movie. Okay. So I create for three elevations: uh, 50 meter, 100 meter, and 150 meter. Uh, 50 meter is a zero meter height of this elevation, and 100 meter is the height of this elevation is a three meter. Now. Uh, the elevation should be gradually increases from uh, 50 meter to 100 meter. And the third elevation will be here, and the elevation height is 0 meter. So, what is done? What is done that the elevation will be gradually decreases from 100 meter to 150 of this meter. Okay. The total straight road length is uh, 300 of this meter. And next, I do the one straight row. And go to for a, a slope profile. Okay. Uh, discussing how to create for this uh, slope profile. Okay. 
is the same procedure for this uh, slope profile. Uh, first, of already you know that uh, uh, elevation profile. Just if you wherever your elevation will be start from the in the lane, you can select the uh, instead of this lane. Okay, the same process. Uh, just click uh, instead of your lane. So again, I create for this uh, a post slope. Okay. Uh, further, I modification of this here and a 50 meter offset, and I need the uh, slope zero and a second uh, 100 meter uh, the slope 0.3. Uh, you can enter this very very less value so that only will be a slope option will be. Uh, comes at a, a, a descent of the straight of the road. And a tab, I can enter the 150 meter of the offset from the starting initial position. And uh, I can enter for the same slope profile of this number 0 0.3. And uh, next one is uh, a 300 meter. Zero take default. Okay, uh, you can view that uh, a side view of this slope profile. Uh, the slightly will be very slightly very in this uh, a straight road. Uh, we can clear clearly see that for an IPG movie. Okay, I hope you see that the slope profile um, I created on a straight road, and after that I created for a, a four elevations. A first elevation is zero meter slope, and a second and a third is a zero point three meter. Uh, so that probably we comes to a, a decent position for this straight road. So if I enter for very high value for the slope profile will not come. Okay. So after that, next we discuss about for a camera profile. Same that uh, a crate on straight road. So these are this I even for this only for basic example for the straight road uh, route. Uh, if you want to any turning uh, turning of this road or a curvature of this road, you can depend on the steer or whatever you can depend on the steer. It's not problem. Uh, but I can discuss only for a straight road. Uh, next, I do the camber profile. Uh, is the same procedure. Uh, wherever you want to camber profile, uh, just enter the longitudinal distance and camber profile at height or the elevation of this profile. Okay. Now, uh, I start the camber profile. Uh, start from this uh, uh, 50 meter and uh, Okay, uh, this will be a road will be straight road is very high. Okay, I created for a three camber profile. Now, uh, edit the camber profile of stool. Just 
left click your mouse button and the camper profile option is available. If you select the camper profile, you can edit the parameter of this value. Now I can do that. The camber uh, tool is 0 0.1 meter per meter square. Now I check if it's uh, created or not. So point one. Yeah, you can see that in IPG movie. Can go to the default view. Okay. So this is I done that uh, using this camper profile. I give you only for distance for a 0 0.1 meter. It's very less than value. Uh, you can enter the very very less value so that only for a camper profile it becomes a, comes up neatly. Uh, next we discuss. Uh, beam, cone, and a friction, and a mesh option of tool. Okay. I create one straight road. So I create one straight road for a 900 meter of length of road. So the beam is nothing but uh, the rectangular of this base. Now I share on my PPT. Uh, you can get the clear idea about this uh, beam, uh, what I do there. Okay. So these are the profile I created for this uh, beam options. So these are the parameter I can edit or uh, enter this value. I uh, enter for this uh, beam height and uh, beam uh, pneumatic uh, uh, beam length. And uh, I enter for this uh, friction. If you, I need for this friction, uh, friction of the beam side, beam surface, if I enter this here, and the uh, next one is a uh, uh, ramp down length. It's nothing but this length, a ramp down of this length and uh, it's a ramp up lane will be here. So these are the parameter will be, I enter the in, uh, beam contribution is parameter. Okay. Now I do that one, create one beam. Uh, if you create for this beam, uh, the option, the start offset and the lateral offset is nothing but 54.2 is a default game. That is nothing but uh, the from initial from point initial uh, meter. That is zero meter to 54.23 meter. Uh, enter uh, 50 meter. Uh, this is the starting point. If you uh, select for this end point. The beam will be created at the end of the point. That means uh, the beam will be comes at the uh, end of the road at the 50 meter of distance. And uh, next, I lateral offset. I do that uh, minus 
2 okay so my beam is created in the uh, driving right side of the driving of the plane and uh, if you want to uh, lateral offset for a reference line if you want to uh, the lateral offset for your beam uh, reference line or a lane one or lane two whatever if you want to based on your requirement you can do is it do that now i do that for a reference of this line so my beam is greater a 50 meter offset uh, that is a longitudinal offset and the lateral offset is minus two meter with reference of a reference line uh, next i create for this height height of this beam uh, here Okay, this the height of this beam and uh, width of this beam. Uh, if you enter for a uh, four or five meter, the width will be increases. Okay, the width of this beam and three meter. And uh, further, if you want to uh, angle for this beam, if you want to add the angle. The beam will be reflected at the 20 degree of this angle. Okay, so I told that uh, ramp up length and uh, player two length and uh, ramp down length uh, is nothing but here the ramp down length and ramp up length. So here I can enter this value. I enter the plate plate you length three meter. Uh, if I if you want to uh, friction on this bump, you can enter up this here. Otherwise, uh, set at zero, not a problem. Okay. Uh, further, if you want to material add a material color uh, or a change for this material uh, distance of this, uh, bump, you can define up this here. If I uh, for this, uh, for my purpose, I create for this uh, straight road, straight road in the all the uh, futures in the straight road. So I select for this different color uh, for our different connection. Okay. Now you see that for IPG movie. So this I done that. So next I do that uh, cone. As I selected for this cone tool, it's the same procedure uh, where you want to create the cone tool. Uh, the action is uh, the option is available for a longitudinal offset and a lateral offset. So I create the uh, starting offset uh, 100 meter from starting point. Uh, this one is the uh, height of the cone. Uh, the cone is nothing but here I show that for PPT presentations. Uh, uh, the cone is nothing but uh, the cones are uh, frustums with all elliptical bases. Okay. So here you can define the, for this cone parameter uh, longitudinal radius and uh, lateral radius and uh, surface. So everything will be done. You can for this define of this here. Okay. So I enter the height of this cone. 0.15 and uh, rotation at zero degree and uh, a longitudinal bottom radius and a top 
longitudinal and lateral radius you can depend on the shear so now uh, a small changes for this uh, uh, longitudinal and lateral radius of shear 2 meter and uh, 2 meter okay uh, change the color Now we can see that in the IPG preview movie. Okay, so the cone will be created up here. So this parameter of this value, we can enter the height of this cone. But if you any modification for this cone, just click on mouse button for in the cone button. Uh, okay, so if you need for any modification of here, you can do that here, height and rotation and uh, lateral and longitudinal bottom radius and top radius of here. So next we discuss about for a uh, friction. Okay. Uh, in driving lane, wherever you want to see uh, create the friction for this uh, particular segment. Uh, just select the uh, lane surface, and uh, next you can select the end of this object. So it's nothing but uh, I created already a 900 meter of this road. Now the start offset, the coefficient, uh, the friction will be start from zero meter to 135. Uh, I can enter for a, a default value at 200, and I need for 50 meters uh, length of coefficient of friction, so I enter the uh, 250 meter. Okay, uh, is reference from the starting point. Okay, so starting point and end point. If you select for this end point, the friction will be comes at the here. End of throw. And now I do that a lateral offset. Okay. Uh, as I enter the lateral offset minus 1.5 meter of this length, uh, take reference at a, a lane 1 or a lane uh, 0. Okay. So here you can uh, define the uh, width of this. So the friction value and the rotations. If you want to uh, rotation of this the friction road surface, just to enter the angle. The road will be the friction surface will becomes like that. Okay. And, but I need for uh, zero angle for this uh, driving right hand side for this driving of the plane, uh, zero degree angle. And after that, very important, uh, you can enter the coefficient of friction value. That is a mu value. You can define this here. Okay, if you enter the 0 0.5 or 0 0.7, wherever based on your requirement, you can enter this here. Okay, uh, now I change for this color. Uh, okay, I've done that all the value, uh, lateral offset and uh, longitudinal offset, and uh, width of this friction value, width of this friction road, and uh, rotations. And uh, very important, the uh, coefficient of friction value, 0 0.5. Okay. After completing the all, you can turn at the here. Now, uh, we can see that in IPG preview movie. Okay. So, this is a place, uh, generally the coefficient of friction value is 0. So, after I enter the, uh, I will enter for a 200 meters from the starting position. The coefficient of friction will be start the value, 0 0.5 meter. I hope you understand this. Okay, uh, next I do that for a mesh. So before starting the mesh tool, uh, I can show that uh, 
always a mesh tool and a mesh view. I use the uh, user page manual. You can uh, see that for a meshing tool ops. Okay. So this is one I do that now. Uh, using this mesh tool, uh, the same procedure, you can enter the uh, start offset value and the lateral offset of this value uh, with the reference of this uh, linear start, uh, uh, with reference of a lateral offset center line or reference line or uh, uh, driving lane uh, left or right. And the next one is for a rotation, a rotation of this uh, mesh. Uh, you can enter this here. Uh, so whatever you are based on your requirement, you can enter the rotation of the angle. If you want to uh, friction on this uh, mesh surface, you can enter this here, uh, zero meter or whatever your requirement, you can do that of this here. And the next very important, a point list. Okay. Uh, here, the point list uh, 0 0.1 and uh, 0 uh, 1.0, 1.0 is nothing but so this distance. Okay, so you enter the uh, 4 or 3 or 2, uh, the profile will be comes to the uh, here, 0 to width of the mesh. Okay, so this nothing but uh, uh, you see that the mouse button, uh, the first row option. Uh, it's nothing but well, if you enter for this four meter height, the width of this mouse button will become to the four. And after that, you can reduce the value uh, three. The gradual will be reduced. The same like this picture. Again, if you enter for this uh, three or two meter, uh, the mesh profile becomes like that. The first row is is to nothing but the first row's point list is nothing but the width of the point list. Okay. And the second and the third row point is nothing but it's a length of this mesh. Okay, so whatever you can enter the data, point uh, one or point two or one meter, whatever you can enter, uh, this will be reduced uh, gradually, uh, decreases or gradually uh, increases. And the final one, the last row is nothing but it's a, a length of the mesh. Okay, so here I'll not show that. Uh, so this is a basic feature in this uh, mesh. Uh, now I show that for mesh profile for your understanding build purpose so that only for I open the uh, the mesh profile of this year. So again, I repeat that this uh, not very well. Uh, the first row is nothing but uh, width of this mesh and the last row is the length of the uh, mesh, okay. And uh, if you put the inside of this first, uh, second and the third row is nothing, it will be a, a gradual increases or a decreases of this height of the uh, meshes. Okay. Now I select the mesh tool. I select the point. As a starting offset, uh, 311 point, that means uh, the longitudinal offset mesh crater at the 300 meter. Uh, uh, I click for round value, enter the round value, and after that, uh, a lateral offset, I enter the uh, minus 1.3. Okay, I increase the value. Uh, minus two, I select with the reference of uh, lane right. Okay. Okay. Uh, this will be a, a mesh rotation angle. If I need, if I, if you are want to rotation your mesh, you can enter this here. And also the friction is possible. If you enter the uh, mesh surface uh, coefficient of friction of this value, you can enter this here. Okay. Okay, so now I enter the uh, width of this value, four meter, the mesh will become like that. Okay, so already I selected for this uh, lane zero right, so that will be, uh, the mesh will be, uh, comes at like 
So I reduce the value. Three meter, and uh, if I need for uh, any value zero point three, and uh, whatever you can enter this value, uh, this will be created for this here, done for this here, and finally one meter is the measure of this plane, and the second row of this point please is will be a, a length of this mesh, the distance will be a ten. So I take the uh, default value, and the final last row is the length of the mesh. I enter the, the six. Okay, uh, just a click mouse button. Okay, so the length of this mesh will be increased. Okay, so it's a basic method to be. Uh, create for this uh, mesh tool. Uh, I change the color. Okay. Now let's see the APG movie in 3D preview. Okay, so this is why I've done that. So very important is a point list. Uh, first row of this point list, nothing but the width of this mesh, and the last row of so point list is uh, the length of this mesh, and in between for a second row and the third row is uh, gradually reduces or gradually uh, increases the angle of this mesh. Okay, I hope you understand uh, well. I go to the slow only. So next I create for this waveform. Okay. So this waveform uh, is nothing but here. Uh, there is nothing but it's a defined a rectangular base. The length along the x axis and the t axis. So I said it clearly for x axis, nothing but uh, the driving lane for the reference of along the reference of this lane is nothing, is a x axis lane, and the t axis, nothing but is a right angle of the x axis. Okay, at the left of right angle x axis, t axis. Now I do that for a They uh, forgot one thing. Uh, CRG. Uh, I do that after that wave option. I now I do that for wave option. I create for this one bump wave of this year. Uh, here the parameter of this value, uh, longitudinal offset and the end offset and the lateral offset, so everything will be done at the here. Uh, if I, uh, uh, if you want to change the rotations, if you uh, enter the height or width and the period of length, everything will be done at the here. And also additionally for a friction and a transition length, so everything will be done at the here. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's a lateral offset. Uh, the lateral offset from the at a, here, the lateral offset from the reference of this line. So height, the total height of the wave, and uh, width, width is as a width of this wave. Already you seen that here. So it's a waveform, a bump wave form formations. I will do that for this bump wave formations. And the period of this length is nothing but it's a length of one period. Okay. 
and uh, the transition length is nothing but the longitudinal direction of this uh, length of uh, front and back and uh, this one is a transition length of left right is nothing is a lateral length of this left and the right if you want to friction of this inside of this uh, uh, wave form you can enter this here now i change the value uh, i need for this rotation angle 0 degree and uh, height of this wave uh, i enter the 0.25 meter and uh, width 5 meter as a width of this wave you can see that here the width of this wave and now enter the height of this wave already i entered and uh, i enter this period of length 5 meter Okay, uh, the transition length, uh, I'll enter this uh, default value, it's not issue, one meter or one meter, and uh, then turn back, it enter 2.5 meter, or 2.5 meter. Okay. Now, you can see that in IPG movie, Uh, the wave is created, uh, change the color. The wave will be created at the longitudinal uh, offset for a 334 meter. Uh, you can see that here. Now check this uh, various waveform will be created. And now again I do that for a waveform in the uh, driving lane. I enter the uh, longitudinal offset value and the end offset value. So first one, I did that uh, very small value, uh, so you can see that in IPG movie. Now let's see this, uh, enter this very height of this value, and reduce the height uh, 0.2 meter. Okay. Now you can see that here. the way will be created. Okay. Uh, next, I go to the uh, CRG. Uh, it's nothing, uh, code regular grid. So in the CRG, the file format, and select the road surface. So it's already uh, predefined in CRG file, uh, in product example, and measure, and a test track. I select the one first one. Okay, 
the same parameter you can enter the uh, root surface. Uh, I select created for the CRG file in the straight road at the distance of uh, 435 meter and the lateral offset is minus 2.1 at the reference lane. And uh, if I need for uh, friction value, you can enter the CR one meter selected and uh, we check the in IPG movie. So this CRG file is will be created by this year. Uh, I show that how is a CRG CRG file. Okay, here you can see that the, the CRG file in the user data channel based on your reference only. So, further, I need for any uh, edited value in this CRG file, just I selected. And select for a detailed visualization and enter. Uh, if you go to for this any MATLAB operations, the CRG file will become like that. So additional I created from the other one CRG file. Now I deleted this one. Okay. The final one for this uh, road file of this tool, lateral profile. The same that if you want to create for this lateral profile uh, for a left side or a Right side, wherever you want, you can select as left side or right side of, right side of the triangle. So now I enter the value from uh, starting offset, longitudinal offset value, and end offset of this value. Uh, starting offset of this value, uh, 509 meter, and the end offset of this value, uh, 535 of this meter. So here uh, you can uh, define this uh, uh, number of parameters for this inside of this lateral profile. If you want to a uh, cubic uh, lateral profile or a linear at step at step reverse, wherever you want to based on your requirement, you can done this here. So the starting transition uh, length is 0 0.2 meter. So here the I take for this uh, default of this value for this here. Uh, just I select uh, okay. Uh, color is full view, okay. Okay, just click for this uh, uh, lateral profile for a right hand side for a driving where uh, uh, I enter for this three value uh, starting offset value and the end offset value and the lateral offset of this value. Okay, so if the lateral profile will be comes at the uh, road border, the road border of the right side. Now you can see that in IPG movie. Okay. This so I done that lateral profile for a right hand side for driving, for a right hand driving lane. So I entered this only for a offset of this value, longitudinal offset value, starting point and the end point. 
and a lateral upside of this style and with the reference of uh, based on your uh, requirement it come to bottom right or uh, bottom left okay. now again i created another one lateral profile on left hand side Okay, so first start the initial point from the longitudinal distance and uh, end of the longitudinal distance, you can also see here. And uh, the border left come like that. Uh, these are this parameter you can depend for this uh, S transition length and the end of the transition length. Uh, I change for the step reverse uh, for your uh, reference. I change the color. Okay, I done that. Now uh, we can check the an IPG movie. So the lateral profile will become the uh, right hand side driving line. Left hand side driving line. I'm audible. Yes, 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 yes. You're audible. Okay. Uh, these are these features uh, inside of this road tools. Beam cone. I hope you understand well. Uh, beam cone frictions mesh and CRG value. Uh, CRG is not is not things uh, curved regular grid and a wave and a lateral profile. So everything will be done at the here. I left on the tool. A uh, Google map created. Google map created. I will do that now. Uh, this are this. Uh, you can create the road network and uh, road lane uh, using this uh, different tool. Uh, the first before starting our presentation, we discussing for this uh, Google Map created. I will discuss uh, how to create the Google Map, uh, how to uh, create the, uh, inside this car maker scenario editor of this tool. How to adapt the in scenario editor tools. Okay. Um, for create for this Google map, uh, first I go to the internet for this Google and, uh, and go to the Google map. Okay, uh, please note down uh, what I'm use for this inside of this Google map. First you select your place. So what I do that, uh, I select a, when I create for a new Google map, I enter for a starting and a end value. And uh, I save in uh, road file in my project name. After that I open the file, I directly in, enter for this in a, the rural map will be created. Okay. I understand. Go to for uh, your place and uh, maps. Uh, create a new map. Okay. Here, add direction. Okay. So now. I enter the A point value and B point value. Okay. So here I enter the A point of this value uh, and I enter the place for in example uh, place uh, for your reference, easy reference. Yeah. Select it for a first point, A point. And the second one is uh, your uh, track row.
okay so now, now i done that a starting value uh, pitambur cases and uh, that is a point and another one is b point is uh, proving uh, ground surface another one is b point now i select and kml uh, save the file at a kml format uh, before start the download please ensure uh, tick the export the kml format i download the root okay now i save the file i created now i done that for a kml format and create for a new root i just copy down and paste in my project folder uh, my project folder cm project and uh, next to go to data and root you can save so already you can save that just uh, save that the same one okay now i done that i created one uh, new google map and create a new route uh, using a google net and uh, save at a kml format so after that i paste in my project file so in my project file uh, bahar project training and data and route surface now i comes to the scenario editor so the option is available you can hold your mouse button and select your file so select your file and just click your the to view of the spaces so wherever you want to the direction you can set the direction if you map create your map will be comes to the uh, 90 degree you can enter up this year or uh, horizontal 0 degree you can enter up this year Uh, based on your requirement if i enter the intuitive view uh, i show that uh, i what i what i done that for this creator map will be show that just i click enter this okay 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 now i done that a starting point a and the starting point of b okay so this will be show that you seen this how to create for this uh, google map and other to you know a scenario of this editor uh please note down your question so after that you will be separate session will be here and uh, ask your uh, doubt okay and uh, and uh, tools so i do that for a uh, uh, what is that use for dimension tool uh, nothing but you, you measure your dimension uh, distance uh, using this option i measure the distance value you can select as here uh, now uh, if i change the uh, length of this road uh, segment at zero just left click your mouse button and the edit your uh, parameter length i enter the uh, 300 meter and at uh, horizontal at 0 degree okay so using this tool can measure the uh, straight road distance uh, you know that already i entered the straight road is a 300 meter uh, in now you can check the uh, distance of the straight road uh, just select the first point and end point Uh, it's almost uh, 300 uh, meter uh, the straight road length is 300 meter uh, if you want to uh, check the width of this road you can uh, select the center of reference of line this is 3.5 meter already you know that the value i entered the in uh, lane configuration the width of this road is 3.5 meter for left hand side driving and right hand side drive the total width of this road the total width of this road is uh, comes to the 9 meter okay so
So next we discuss a, a background image. So already you save the uh, image format uh, using this JPG or PNG uh, in the file in the data and a row. Uh, you can select this background of these images. So I, now I already I saved this file uh, in the my project file in Pitambur places. Uh, this will be a, uh, based on your reference only. I say that the uh, background of images take that from uh, Epidamber cases. Okay. So this is uh, background image tool will be a purpose. Uh, if you create for this any road for this year, you can go to the uh, using this tool of a point list of this tool. You can create of this year. Uh, this will be uh, useful for you. Okay. So I show the just reference only. Already on selectors row. Uh, now I delete this one. Okay. Now we check the 3D preview movie. It's a small bit of this road. It will be I done that in scenario editor. And just now I deleted this one also. Uh, how to delete this one? Just select and left click mouse mouse button. Uh, segment is zero. Uh, if I don't need for this one, you can directly delete this, remove this. Good. Okay. Now uh, check the in IPG movie. Uh, the road will becomes like that. Okay, so based on your uh, background images, with reference of background of images, you can create the row uh, using this point list of these tools. Okay, and uh, these are the tools, uh, accessories, and the scenario, uh, nothing but. Uh, make it your uh, road, your beautiful, your surrounding. Uh, you can create for this. Uh, and, uh, just I show that. Okay, I create one straight road. So accessories, I think it's a road marking of this tool. Further, if you uh, want a single lane or a double lane and a space of this lane and a dash lane for two meter and a bit of this lane. So everything will be done at the here. You can uh, edit or modification of this here, the road marking of this way. Okay. So whatever you needed for a, a reference, uh, based on your reference, you done this here. And next one is a road marking. So this will be a road marking for instead of this lane. Uh, this is uh, useful for uh, any parking of this lane. You can create the drawing or marking for uh, your reference. And uh, it's a road marking for a sign. Same that. Uh, first one is will be comes to straight road. This one is will be come to be a sign marking. Uh, this tool is useful for a uh, road painting and a uh, road surface. And uh, this one is a traffic sign. If you add to the uh, traffic sign for this uh, left side of or right side of this road border, uh, you can uh, do that of this here. Just select the uh, location of this traffic uh, sign push, uh, position of this uh, traffic sign. Uh, you can after that you can modify it of this here. Uh, the positions and the size, uh, whatever you need to change the value, you can do it in that here. Uh, there are different sign options is available. Um, the size, medium, and large, everything will be here. Okay. 
So these are the traffic signs and uh, traffic uh, images are available for the uh, scenario editor. Uh, whatever your requirement, you can uh, turn up this here. Uh, stop sign and uh, left and go and everything will be here. And uh, you can add the traffic light of this value. Uh, just click your reference value. Based, uh, that's a reference of this line and fix the position. Okay. Uh, you can also predefine for a, a starting from red or a yellow, green, whatever you need. You can do it. See, here the place of this uh, traffic light. And uh, it's nothing but it's a position of this mounting of this traffic light. It's the X distance, the longitudinal distance, and the lateral distance. And is it actually a vertical distance? So based on your requirement, you can do it, the traffic of this light. And the same option, uh, traffic barrier, and uh, traffic signs, and the gatepost. So everything will be here. Uh, the basic parameter will be needed only for a, a longitudinal offset and the lateral offset and uh, positions. That is a uh, exit axis. So these are these uh, parameters we ask for this. Uh, you can create for this uh, substitutes, uh, gatepost or uh, a traffic of this barrier. And uh, it comes to this scenario. Uh, Canary is nothing but you can beautify your uh, surrounding your vehicle environmental uh, surrounding your environmental. I can use this option and a bridge tool. Uh, this will be entered for a offset value for starting offset and end offset and uh, a bridge type, pillar type, uh, everything can depend on this here. Uh, we can check the uh, IPG movie. The bridge will be comes uh, like that. And also can create for this uh, uh, different geometry of this object in uh, uh, home uh, structure. Uh, there's nothing very really asking for this value for longitudinal value and lateral offset of this value and the location of smoothing point. Wherever you want to, to select the uh, location of this mounting your uh, home structure, uh, just click uh, based on your uh, center reference of this line. You can select of this here. So you can move left side or uh, right side. Okay. Uh, this is I done that. It's a different uh, house object will be here. Uh, just select this uh, file. You can uh, get the uh, number of option of this. Uh, also, also property of the object will be here. You can check also preview on the in this space. Okay, now I'll check this in IPG movie. Uh, the house structure of subject will be created. It's nothing. Just I enter the for a longitudinal value and the lateral offset of this value. And the end offset the value. Okay. And uh, the last one for a uh, terrain. Uh, it's also will be beautiful your surrounding uh, environmental. Uh, you can enter the height offset value and maximum height offset of this value. If I enter the maximum height offset value, uh, enter a 200 meter, as uh, generate the terrain will become. You can check the in IPG movie. The option is coming with that. So the scenario and accessories, uh, so based on your uh, reference only, uh, if you want to use this tool, and go to the tool and enter the lateral and lateral offset value and the location. And the next one, I important, I do that for a uh, uh, root conditions. I create one straight road. I create one straight road at, uh, okay, 250 meter. At a horizontal angle. Okay.
now i create a route uh, where my ego vehicle driving with path uh, the earlier we'll discuss uh, path route is nothing but uh, classified for a, a three defined path just uh, right click your mouse button a add connector path and user path and start a new route okay now my vehicle will be started the new route uh, just right click your mouse button and start new route and uh, select the here and double click so now your yoga vehicle will be starting from here for a uh, right hand side of driving and a uh, right hand of driving of this lane of this here uh, next one is a uh, add connector path uh, before uh, i use for the add connector path i just to increase the width of this row now uh, using this add connector path okay you comes your you go vehicle will be goes to the another lane just select the first route and it goes to the uh, next uh, same route of the second or third of this route now again i uh, so this option is full to the vehicle will be started the here uh if i need to change for this lane uh, for the second row uh, i will the my vehicle should be a comes like that it will be a change for this lane uh, before uh, starting the simulation first i create for the state start a new route this here a new route and second for the uh, add counter path and that route now the vehicle will become to the uh, started the zero meter and come and next will be change the lane and go to the straight at the complete at the end of this row is the add connector of this path and next one is a user path so user path you can define uh, wherever you can uh, drive your vehicle you can uh, define of this here this is selector you can define wherever you point driving your vehicle like this yeah so it's a true name is add user of this path so after completing the add user path you can select the yeah a start new route and goes to the and connect the another uh, user path and end to the estate road okay uh, now i do that on a simple example my driving of this vehicle i select a product example Uh, for your reference, I uh, for time consideration, I'll directly I did not create for this any row. I directly I go to for this uh, product example. And I use this breaking options. I start the simulation. uh just a minute I, I again i start the simulation stop and real time uh, it's nothing but it's a simulation faster uh, if you want to increase the simulation you can uh, put the value and if you want to slow your simulation you can enter this piece of this value 
I run the simulation at real time. So this is my row. I start the simulation again. So this is a calculated breaking distance example. Okay. Uh, I hope you are uh, understanding this to get a clear idea about for uh, how to use the all the tools. Mm, now my colleague will be connected to you. Uh, the session will be uh, my colleague will be answered to. Uh, thank you, Ravinder. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, for giving you a short demo on how to create some uh, basic uh, bar, bar tracks, uh, my colleague Karthik will join now. This over to you, Karthik. Hi friends, uh, good evening. Uh, myself Karthik I just to log in with my colleague laptop, uh, that's Ravinder laptop. So in this session, I can tell you how can be created a sample test track of a Baga event, uh, like a dynamic test track as well as the breaking maneuver, a breaking test track. So we have a different uh, testing events are there, like a, a dynamic test track, a dynamic event as well as the breaking event. Uh, so let's speed track. And there are multiple tracks are there. I can quickly uh, tell you how can how can the test track will be looks for the Baga event. Uh, for this, I'm just creating a new root uh, new root file. Uh, this is not exactly represent the Baga test track. It's only for the demonstration purpose. It will give you the idea for creating the sample uh, test track. How the Baga test track will uh, actually looks during the event of the uh, virtual event. Uh, okay. For this, uh, we need to uh, before starting the test track, uh, we need to configure the lane information because in Baga test track there will be no uh, two-way lanes are there. There will be a single lane. Uh, for the, uh, and also there will be no traffic object will be there. So before the before that, we need to configure the lane. Uh, for this, we have an option to lane uh, in the menu bar. We have an option name lane configuration. Uh, by clicking on this, uh, we can create a new lane uh, for especially for the bugger test track. So as you know, uh, we have an only one tra one track will be there. One, there will be only one line is there. Uh, for this, I'm going to delete the uh, opposite driving line. So from the settings option here, we have selected the driving side as a right hand traffic. So I am going to delete the opposite lane. That's the left hand uh, left hand driving lane. Uh, so for this, I am deleting the uh, left-hand driving lane. Uh, later, by the, uh, for the general, uh, the lane width of the driving lane will be in 3.5 meter. It's for the global standard. Uh, but when coming to the Baga event, I think so the driving lane uh, lane width may be varies. It can be shortly revealed by the alumni team uh, in upcoming session. Uh, for the demonstration, I'm going to make the driving lane as a 2.5 meters. It's only for the demonstration. It is not. Uh, it is not the actual value uh, for the dynamic event. So, uh, 
so after doing the correction uh, we can uh, shortly preview the how the actual lane will be looks while creating the scenario um so for the center i think so it will be in a broken lane i'm going to make this it as a straight lane i'm changing the line type to the single lane that's a straight lane without any breaking uh, broken segment Um, so team uh, i had an information uh, so we are uh, we are planning to open a comment uh, q and a session after 7:30 pm so during that time the comment box will be open so if you have any queries please uh, write it on the comment box uh, so we will uh, shortly answer back on the last 30 minutes uh, so when coming back to the creation of the scenario uh, i have changed the line marking line type as a single line so next to the road border uh, so here we have i have selected the road border uh, which is the with the line, width of 1 meter so i am making it as it to be i, I don't want to change the road border with uh, when coming i'm just uh, i think so we have almost uh, configured the lane uh, next i'm going to create a road for this i'm going to make the first 50 meters as a straight segment with a distance of 100 meter so we can uh, quickly check how it actually visualizes in the ipg movie for that i'm going to do the 3d preview option so uh, the roughly uh, the baga test track will looks like this as you know uh, during the event there will be a lot of slope and uh, uh, hill variation will be available on the road segment uh, as well as we have an maneuverability track uh, for this we have a, a lot of ten uh, segments will be there uh, so i can quickly tell you how can we create a ten segment as well as the uh, island slope profile on our road section so next i'm going to select the ten segment ten uh, option as i already told you i have deleted the left lane uh, left uh, left hand driving side lane so here uh, the the center point will be looks to the left hand uh, left hand side of the road segment so i am changing the radius to 50 meters with the angle of 90 degree so later i am going to select the point list by using this point list i am going to create a multiple ten segments with the free hand sketching Uh, it is only for the demonstration uh, so i uh, simply created a rough baga track it is not uh, it is not to be ex exactly replicated during the event it's only for the demonstration purpose so later i am going to add some elevation slope profile over the road segment um, for these i am going to select the 3d surface option uh, later from the elevation profile i am going to make some elevation patches over the road segment so for this we need to make the start and end point uh, wherever we need to add the elevation slope profile over the road segment uh, for the demonstration i am going to make the uh, for the elevation profile with a start distance of 150 meters so you can pick anywhere over the road segment later from the uh, from the right hand side we have an option to edit the offset uh, or manually so we can enter the values directly over the
starting so the starting position of the elevation profile will be at around 47.68 meter instead of i am going to make it as around 50 meters So after selecting the elevation profile, we have an option to set the height of the elevation slope uh, surface of the road segment. For the starting uh, set, I'm going to make it as a zero. I don't want to add any elevation patches during the start of the uh, elevation profile. Uh, later coming to the second point, I'm going to give some offset as a two meters. Again, it's a four. I'm going to make some a uh, slope profile. Uh, for this, I'm giving the negative value. So as you can see in the bottom of the screen, however, we are entering the value, the profile will be changed according to the input which you are giving to the elevation profile. So from the starting segment, I have set the two meter offset. So it will be in the elevation profile. And next, uh, again, I'm setting to the four meter. Again, it was increasing uh, gradually. Later at the distance of 470 meters, I'm going to make some slope part. So the road will automatically comes uh, down. At five at five seventy meters again, I'm making the road profile for the elevation path. I'm giving the values of four meters. So again, the road segment has been elevated. Again, it's a six minus four minus two zero two four. So for the demonstration, I set some uh, elevation patches over there. Later from the IPG movie, we can quickly see. So from the movie, you can able to see some of the elevation and slope profile for the road patches has been created. So as you know, for the dynamic event, there will be no, uh, there is also, there will be some obstacle will be there, like a bump road, as well as some cone object, as well as for creating the bump over the road, I'm going to select the bump option. So I would like to create some speed breaker. Uh, for this, by long pressing the bump option, we have an option called the beam. By selecting this option, we can able to add a speed breaker over the road surface. So as you can see, uh, I have added on a speed breaker with a distance of 185 meter with a lateral offset of minus 1.74. Uh, here, the reference line indicates the lift left side of the road surface. So it it has been uh, offset to the uh, reference line from 1.75 meters. So I'm going to change the width of the uh, speed breaker. Sorry. So I have given the lateral offset as minus 1.25 meters. So the bump will be exactly to the uh, driving lane. So here the height must be in 0 0.1 meter. Later, the ramp up length. A ramp up length is nothing but uh, the length which is needed to elevate the speed profile. Uh, that's here it will be as one meter. One meter is very huge. So I'm going to decrease this value as 0 0.1 meter. For the plateau length, I also want to decrease the length, plateau height of the speed breaker. Again, it's a 0 0.1 meter. 
So if you want to change the friction value of a particular tooth, the bump section means you can enter the value manually. So accordingly, your vehicle will uh, replicate during the simulation. For the visualization purpose, I'm going to add some material over the bump. By selecting the material option, we have a set of a library for for creating the texture. So I'm going to the product example. These files are readily available in our product example. I'm going to the texture option. Here from the ground, I would like to select the weighted image. So as you can see, uh, we have created a speed breaker with a distance of 125 meters with a height of 0 0.2 meters. So accordingly, we have a lot of obstacle over the driving lane. Uh, not only the speed breaker, we have a cone offset as well as the uh, height of certain wave, wavy road. So for the obstacle, we are going to add some mesh value. So, so there will be some of pit over the uh, road surface will be there. Uh, likewise, we can add any obstacle over the road surface. Okay. So I think yeah, uh, we can start the Q and A session now. So the uh, comment box will be open. You can ask the question. We'll try to answer. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we have a question from Shreyas. One minute. Like, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. We have a question from Strayas of something. Oh. Uh, so for your question, oh. uh, yes, uh, it, it can be done. You can use a uh, shared data pool oh, option uh, in the main GUI. With, uh, so you can use that uh, shared da data pool uh, so that you could get the access for. Uh, for every single participants, uh, every single team members, so it is possible. Yeah, um, Karthik will try to. Yeah, here you can make it. Uh, put your project folder under share share data pool, so you can use that. And uh, the next question from Deepesh: How to provide different speeds? At different terrains on or road banks, as it is pretty different in the country region for drive safety. Yes, uh, that can be set. Um, I'll just read out the question: How to provide different speeds at different terrains or or road banks, uh, as it is predefined in the country region for drive sa driver safety? 
um it can be done one moment Yes. Uh, so um, I I even I couldn't understand your question uh, on the whole, but I will try uh, to answer setting up some uh, speed limitation for different roads. Um, so for for example, you could set uh, different road types for the particular road type. You could set the speed limitations. So if you are if you are a uh, road, you have uh, you have done using scenario editor if you are uh, you are putting us uh, up road means the speed limitation will be 50 km per hour so the driver won't reach uh, won't uh, go beyond this limit and then if you want to uh, if you want to put uh, uh, speed uh, limitations or speed control at particular area means you can use the markers here here you can have a uh, speed markers so you can use put this driver speed marker at somewhere like this here if you put the value the driver will automatically the ipg driver will uh will, will uh, know the sp speed limit and he will automatically reduce the speed so those are the both options and uh, the next question from navin will they provide the track in dynamic event or should be constructed as per their specs so as per the discussion with the uh, organizing committee um, so the the final di uh, the final uh, uh, track for the dynamic event will be provided a uh, few days before but i'm not very sure uh, uh, yeah uh, the baha committee members will answer you for this question but uh, sure uh, for sure you don't need to construct the you are not going to construct the uh, uh, tracks so you you can use this for um, for for making uh, your, your vehicle to tra travel uh, vehicle to pass the hurdles so that's it you can use this for, for the practice all right wasan so let me add to this make yeah yeah just in this side so so teams uh, you will be uh, getting Test tracks from the Baha organizing committee, and also uh, we'll be sending you the final tracks on which the final event race will be will be there. So you don't need to uh, design your own tracks. Uh, tracks will be sent by the committee. Okay, over to you, Vasant. Yeah, thank you, Jatan. So <clears throat> the next question from admin: How would you make an eight turn? So you have an example uh, here. Under the product examples, you can use it for getting the reference. Let me check. Um, not here. Eight. Yes, eight. Eight. Go to the yeah. Yes, uh, you can refer this example for that. And the next question from Subham Sudhir. Uh, yeah, they will provide the recordings. Yeah, and sorry, Vendra, I will speak uh, much louder. Um. Okay, uh, the next question from Akshat. What would be the friction setting for the road uh, for the event? That, uh, so are you asking how to, so uh, for the reference, um, what is uh, the specifications that will be provided from Baha committee?
okay uh yes uh it might be provided by the baha committee but uh here um i i'm not very sure it depends on the hurdles so you can practice yeah uh for accept question um so if it is uh, related to the specifications for for the baha event it would be provided by the team and uh, uh you should train your uh, your driver and the vehicle uh, to pass uh, whatever whatever the real time measurements or uh, the real time specifications you gather that information and you try to work on it the next question from shreyas uh, will the tire model be provided by aci india uh, could you please answer message jate okay uh, so yes teams uh, we will be giving you some specifications to uh, model your tire but uh, we also recommend teams to learn how to do tire modeling and come up with their own models so uh, one uh, one standard tire model we'll be providing but we'll not be limiting the teams to use that particular model only okay thank you so the next one from deepesh how to provide different speeds at oh, okay um we have already answered for that and the next question from deepsika how to create stack la uh, log scenario for that you can use uh, the bumps here uh, beams uh, so it 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 uh, it will be helpful for creating this and then uh, uh, the next question from arjun ajish how to change road type uh, from asphalt to off road type dirt track okay uh, here um actually after creating the road we cannot di uh, directly set uh, it 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 to any particular road types we need to add the material for that uh, by having any jpeg or uh, uh, jpeg or png files uh, for for uh, that, that is for the visualization purpose and the the next one you need to concentrate here is uh, the friction value so you should get the friction value for different road types and you need to enter here and then uh, okay the next question from anjali how do we change terrain types uh yes um the terrain type uh, are you are you saying like uh, to to put uh, different types of scenarios into that uh, is it yes it is possible uh, by again uh, you need to create the uh, roads and then try to uh, try to change uh, the friction values and add the materials and all so it would create it would uh, help us to create different uh, terrains the next question from navin and it's the default friction settings of track is zero no no it should be one or uh, we can give the value as as per our specification okay uh the next question from divya shah how to move uh, through the ipg movie like how to view the entire road from the eye level okay i'll just open ipg movie first of all uh, so if you are uh, using mouse okay uh, so you can uh, for moving like this you need to do the left click and drag it and for zoom in zoom out you can use the 
that go uh, scroll yeah you can you can sc uh, scroll up or scroll down for that and then if you want to move uh, with the camera you need to click uh, control and do the left click and move your mouse if you go uh, if you want to go here means you can just do uh, you just click control to the right, uh, do the left click and move your cursor yes uh the next question from Pratik what about gravel sand rocks can that be added to the tracks yes that's that is also the same uh procedure to be followed uh which means you need to create some flat roads or whatever uh tone or whatever things but you need to uh, create the road uh, from the basic and then you need to change the friction value and uh, you can use the you can uh, use the road toolbox uh, under the bumps you can use a uh, cone or mesh thing for uh, having some, uh, some some kind of mesh uh, hurdles and um, also you could you could you could uh, add the material for visualization the next one uh, from farhan yes uh, is there any way to change the road type to off road we have already answered we don't have the option for directly changing but it could be changed uh, by changing the parameters the parameters like friction and all the next one uh, yeah by adding uh, some bumps as well and then yeah uh, the next question from Sravani uh, how to specify the route initially when I try to simulate the vehicle it is showing an error saying route not specified yeah so for running the test run you need to uh, you need to create the route so this is the major thing here so for creating a route I will uh, I will I will show you some quick and short demo so I just created one straight road straight patch now i need to create a, a route i am going to select this one by clicking on it it will show show me what are the available paths in my created road so it it will be in green color i need to select this i and i need to do the right click start new route and as the pop up uh, tells we need to do the double click to finish the definition we need to do the double click so once you've done it will be turned to pink color which means the root has been created next one how to save a road uh, from sai kiran after creating the road you can use this uh, save road file save it will be saved uh, it should be saved in the project folder that's how it could uh, it could be saved and for uh, getting your road you need to go to the what uh, your project folder under data you can have the road file in the you can have the road file under the subfolder road
The next question from Aryan Sharma. How we will build the, the actual terrain condition at the road? Um, that means uh, you, uh, we, are, we are also asking the same one. So that could be uh, you need to create the uh, road uh, site or whatever uh, road by using this and then you need to change the road material and you need to give the other parameters like um, friction and, and you, know, you can add some bumps and all. Um, how the next question from Sur Surya Khan Nagar? Uh, sir, how scoring will happen in this road? Uh, that should be answered by Baha committee. I think they would let you know after some time. And then, uh, we have a question from Tejas how we can access this video lectures. Uh, they would share you recordings, I, I think. And then, uh, the next one, a question from Arkit, uh, will the terrain de de details uh, with coefficient of friction? Steering rack profile, etc. Yes, um, actually, we can set the width and coefficient of friction and the steering rack track profile. Uh, I don't understand uh, what you are trying to mean. The next one, yes, okay. So for uh, further uh, questions, you could register your, you can post your questions in the forum that Baha Kamati created. So our team members will uh, answer for you, for your questions in pretty fast track. So we are at the end of the session now. And thank you so much, guys. Uh, thanks, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for listening. Um, thank you team it was a it, it was a, a good session uh, uh, it was a good opportunity you have uh, given us and thank you so much Travinda and Kartikeyan and my team so uh, today we have seen uh, about how to create the road and how to uh, add the road specification into that and please try work on it uh, working on it and if you have any further questions you can post your questions and we'll get back to you and yes uh, okay anything else from baha team uh, no vasan so uh, i request all the teams to post your queries on the baha as okay. india forum uh, we will definitely uh, try to answer all the queries uh, as much as possible. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So we can close the session for today. Yeah. Thank you.